All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, joining us this morning, we have something very special for you. Fuad Pakori from Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra is here. So thank you so much for being here. Thank How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great, thank you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You're welcome anytime. So we're talking about your season opener, Music on the Cutting Edge. So just tell us a little bit about some pieces that you'll be performing and let us know which one you're especially That's excited about. So this, this concert is really unique. It's a great event because we have three different pieces. One of them is by a Mexican composer, okay. it's a dance. The second one is by an American composer who's a contemporary composer, still alive and working. And it's a dance piece as well. He, he liked techno music, so we've incorporated uh, electronics with the orchestra. So no if way. you like techno music, dance, EDM, this is a piece for, for you to go and attend. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then the last piece is Shostakovich, a Russian composer, and it's sort of for us today relates to a lot of what's going on politically in the world um, because he was he wrote it during a time very similar to our time now. Very good. So real quick on that techno yeah. piece, yeah. I just have to know, like, is that kind of uh, future forward and, and especially for an orchestra? It is, it is. And you know, what, when I was doing a little bit of research, just this is very interesting. Techno, surprisingly, I thought it was, you know, started in Europe. It started in Detroit, right? Yeah. Techno started in Detroit and, and this person wrote the piece and you know, when you, it captures that sen essence when you go to a club. Mm -hmm. He even has a broom in it where he goes, sh 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 sh, you know, <laughs> to give that type of sound. It's a great piece. Oh man, yeah. I can't wait for yeah, it. Yeah. So that's great. How does it feel to be back at Temple Theater in front of audiences and like, you don't have to worry about any restrictions mostly. Yeah. What does that feel like? That feels great. It's been way too long. We were talking about it earlier while, while waiting for the interview. Yeah. Um, you know, We've been almost three years into COVID, and now we feel like we're coming back. And it's just really nice to have people come back to the Temple Theater and give them the co live concert experience and, and interact with them that way. There's nothing better than that. Yeah. So did you find like uh, programming your, your uh, orchestra was kind of easier this year, maybe? Much easier in terms of the ability to pick from whatever we want to do, right. right? Instead of during COVID, we had to limit our numbers. We had to distance our musicians. We had to wear masks. None of that this year. We're just really looking forward to welcoming our audiences back and having concerts for them. Yes, yeah. and that connection, it's yeah. got to be so great. All right, so Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra's mission is creating memorable and magical experiences through the power of symphonic music. So would you say your uh, audiences or your orchestra's geared toward audiences who already know classical music, or can it just be uh, open to anyone? It, it's really open to anyone. And what I'm really passionate about is making, demystifying that process. Because yes. when you say symphony, everyone thinks I have to dress up, I have to come you know, a certain way, act a certain way. Right. We don't, we want you to come as you are. If you wanna wear jeans, come. As long as you bring your ears to listen, that's mm -hmm. all we care about. And what I encourage people to, more than that, make it an event, make it an evening. We perform at eight o'clock, go out, you have a date or you have a family go out before have dinner come and enjoy great music and then maybe afterwards go have a drink but it's a wonderful evening event yeah. and we don't do it often enough and it's such a powerful thing to see 80 musicians on stage performing all at once so we invite people to do that oh it sounds great yeah. all right so Vlad, i want to know what other type of concerts you have lined up so we have great concerts the next one coming up is our holiday pops concert that will be in end of november early december okay. right, november 29th and then february concert we're celebrating black history month and then March, we do romantic favorites, and then we complete our season with Beethoven's Fifth at the end in, in April. Very yeah. good. Great. We're excited for you. Thank and, you. And just listening to you talk about it, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when you're actually playing. I tell you what, I, I wish I could bring all the audience members to where I stand yeah. and have them experience an orchestra right in the center where I conduct, because there's nothing like being in, engulfed with all the sound. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for you. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. And if you want to find out more information, of course, on the Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra, just go to our website and go to the hot links section. That's WNEN.com.